Hey Campaholics, I got some serious envy going on. I've been following Courtney for a long time with a flipping nomad and we're gonna go in and see this ultimate fusion. Don't miss it. Come on, let's go. Here we go. I'm Missy. I'm Mike. And we're the Campaholics! Nomad, and we are getting ready to go through the ultimate fusion. I have been watching this for what? How long have you been posting it? Uh, well, we started it um, in May, and it is currently January, yes, so, so eight months ago. Eight months ago. So it has been an exciting. I'm so excited to see it in person. Yeah, the rig's right. just about a month old. Yep. Um, so, so we're gonna see the, the yes nuances very, and very first one, really on display really, here. Yeah, this is the very first stop it's had in the public. Okay. Um, so before we go inside, there's a lot of stuff on the exterior too that we'll okay. go over. So this of is course, the guy stuff though. This is. But this is it's what all, he would like. <laughs> but it's all black and it's wrapped, which I you know I think people's attention uh, gets drawn yeah. to. And then also Lippert built a, a custom set of windows. Even. I was about to say they're square. You see they're square. It's a square but profile. But they're actually square. Yes. But it's a radius cutout and it needs to be a radius cutout for structural reasons with fiberglass okay. cracking but I wanted that square glass look so we were able to accomplish both. Um, Without things. having it be like painted square. Right. Like exactly. I've seen that's the new thing exactly. now. Okay. Yeah, and then we got the outdoor audio system from mm -hmm. Kicker. Um, yeah. And with this being a toy hauler, um, the rig has two patios. So we've got the side patio here and then another one out the back like all toy haulers have. How long are you again? I think it's 45 and a half. Okay. I'm not ex I'm sure the exact not, number. Not crazy. Not 45, crazy. 46, whatever it is. Yeah. I'm not too crazy. Yeah, so come on in. Come on for our leopard solid step here. Yep. <laughs> And so I designed it to be what, what I wanted. Yeah, so I traveled with two dogs. Um, and I think anybody that travels with dogs knows that their beds are just always in the way. So it was really important to me to put make special space for them. And they love those beds. They go in there without being told. Um, <laughs> and then uh, Lipper Custom built this sofa for us. So it's a trundle um, that pulls out. Oh, so we can stay. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> And it fits right in that slot. Yeah, right and we did a projector TV that shoots to the screen oh, nice, back here. Oh, nice, nice. Um, and originally I had the TV slated to go in this area and come up on a lift, but by going with the projector, that gave me this teeny tiny little footprint to do some sort of a cute little art installation. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, just something fun and different there. And you can change that out. The it, TV, you would kind of be stuck with exactly. that. So you can, your Christmas tree can go there. That like, was you know, exactly yes, my thought. Okay, yeah, nice. when, I, when I start wanting an art project, I'll just build something yeah, different. Yeah, something different. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Kind of a flex space, which you don't really get in no. rigs. Um, and one thing that was very, very important to me was that the rig is fully accessible with slides in, uh, which we were able to accomplish. It is 100% accessible with slides in, so you can fully get to the fridge. Kitchen is fully accessible. I mean, you can even sit on the couch and still watch TV. Um, get to everything upstairs, bedroom, bathroom, it's all accessible. So this dining area folds down. Um, and then this is kind of my little tiny RV kitchen of oh, my dreams. Oh, but it's like... It, it packs a punch. I put a lot, a lot of thought into it. Um, so we've got a nugget ice maker right here that's built in mm -hmm. and it's, you, know, you can see the condensation yeah. on it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and it's plumbed into the filter drinking water okay. um, the rig dishwasher, which I think any RVer can appreciate. So do you, have you used it and do you like it? Oh yeah. Like, I, I see had, people putting them in and I'm like, I don't know. I well, don't know. I had this exact same one in my old rig, which was the ultimate Montana. I had that rig for four years in it and swore by that dishwasher. So I just bought the same okay. one and put it in this one. I love mm -hmm. it. I love it. Mm -hmm. I see mm -hmm. a project in your future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. And then big pan for pots and, or big drawer rather for pots and pans. Um, and then this is a footstool that pulls out and folds down. So that way you can, can access. Okay. Yeah, everything up there. And then the crowning jewel yes, of this kitchen the, the, that is the, the hidden, hidden, hidden in plain sight. Yes. garage. So this is one of my first ideas for this rig. 
I wanted easy access to the appliances, but I didn't want them out because it kind of feels like clutter. So we motorized this backsplash so you push the button and the backsplash goes <laughs> down and hides everything. And you know what? It doesn't make your kitchen look any smaller uh -uh. when that's down. Yeah, not at all. And yes. your pot fill back there. Yep, so we got the pot filler. And that's also plumbed into the filtered drinking water of the rig, so it's also the, the drinking faucet. So the only thing I don't see is a microwave. So I did do you, have one. Do I'm, well, you use I'm, one? I'm trying to live a lifestyle right now of not using one. Okay. If I surrender at some point, then I'll this just is, buy one just and throw it in. in. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah, so that's kind of the beauty of this appliance garage is you can, can just kind of be a revolving door. Whatever the new thing exactly. may be, yes. If you need a ninja exactly. uh, yes. ice cream maker, what do they call it? The yeah. Ices? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. You have one of those too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah so I use my, I use, we have the, um, I think it's the Furion Convection microwave, and mm -hmm. I use that a lot. Yeah. So, to cook. I oh, mean, uh -huh. yeah. To actually, instead of using the propane, yeah. I'm, I'm going to use that. So, yeah. Okay. So then but that got, does keep you flexible. Yeah, right? so then we've got the side patio, and I see the projector is off right now. I wonder if it's battery operated, so it might have died. Oh, um, okay. But this little projector here, if I'm blocking. Oh, well, I okay, I, I see. Um, becomes the TV for the side patio yeah. using, I'll turn this off. Oh, um, my gosh. So, whoops, what am I doing here? <laughs> Give me volume. She's learning it. She's learning it. Yeah, it's a work. We'll just turn it off. How about that? Okay, now, um, so... This glass is electrified, basically. So when the glass is off, it's just clear glass. You can see right through it. It's like a normal window. When the glass is on, it frosts, and it's opaque enough that you can shoot a projector through it, and it becomes TV for oh the side gosh. patio. So it's on side patio mode right now. So I'm going to put my hand over the projector so you can see it's frosted. OK, now I'm going to turn it back to regular glass. Ready? Mm. That's yeah. Lippert. It's Lippert, yes. That's Lippert. Yeah, this was Lippert. So we'll wow. put it back on frosted mode, and then there's the So thing. you, it's like the best of both worlds. Yeah, exactly, and I love it. That's Absolutely pretty cool. I love it, yeah. So then it becomes a TV for the side patio. So depending on, you know, if you want to watch TV from inside or outside, depends on which, which orientation you, you okay. put the projector in. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. pretty awesome. I love the color. I love this, like, gray, steel Thank gray. Thank you, color. yeah. People, I think, are afraid to go dark, but I think dark makes I love dark back yes small spaces feel bigger I yeah really do. totally and the brush gold is back in you know like we had it 20 years ago right gold. right so okay and then what well, we'll dog door doggy door Up to the side patio do they use oh that's right you posted that you yes. for the first time yeah oh, I'm sorry yeah for the so first time they're they're learning they're learning um but yeah we can go out here and just don't put it forget to put it down and right bust yeah. it through the door so now you can oh see. My gosh. It looks like totally like a window. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can see the other side of the TV, um, and then got the fireplace and the uh, other side of the dog door. Do you use this a lot? Or well, not as much rig, as you we, want? Yeah. Well, I've been working on the rig so much that really, if I'm awake, I'm working. So yeah. <laughs> like, you're gonna have to yeah. take time to enjoy this. Yeah. Now that sure. now that the rig's pretty well done, um, well, I'll use this a lot more yeah. here. So well, we can come on in. Um, you want to go see bedroom bathroom? Whatever you want, whatever, okay. whatever works best for you. Well, we go here How do you like this? I like it a lot. Yeah, I and really it's like it's okay. twelve. Yeah, and in my old rig, I had a residential where it had the two fridge doors, doors up okay. at the top and the drawer for the freezer, and I really grew to hate it because okay. it was like no matter what everything's I wanted, in the bottom. Yes, yep. I'm constantly okay. digging in the we're, freezer. We're debating. We've got just the normal the nor cold two top two oh, bottom, uh -huh. but I keep looking at this and yeah I mean the residential one from like a mechanical standpoint it was fine I never had a single no, issue okay and I haven't had a single issue with this either but it was just the way that that fridge was configured I just it drove me nuts so I'm loving this one so much better oh and I see a little yeah a little, little look at this that's yeah. nice and they use that I guess they do yeah, yeah. Nice. and that's also filtered into the or plumbed into the filter drinking water system of the rig so we can go upstairs. Actually, it's kind of tight up there, so okay, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you two go up and I'll okay. kind of yell from down oh, here. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, so 
I think the bed, the, this for the doggies is in. So the shower surround is actually wallpaper that has been waterproofed with epoxy. Um, so all three of those um, walls are super, super lightweight. Um, you can carry all three on your hand. So that's a way of cutting your weight. Yes. Training and then off one exactly. thing for another. And that's why I went with the shower curtain versus glass doors. Let's get ready to do the same thing. Yeah. But they might and take then, ours out. And then thinking through trying to make the rig accessible with slides in, I yep. wanted to block the washer and dryer as much as I could. Yeah, you don't slides need that. In. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, those two little squares at the bottom on the right are laundry hampers. Hampers. Does it so you, go down yeah. to the. Uh, yeah. Wow. And then more dog beds under under the main bed. And the, the lighting is very nice. Like I, li I don't mind the recessed puck lighting thing, but that really taint thing. Yeah, and ponies up the place, and it can be just enough light to. Yeah, and at night time, we have yeah. to have that little bit of a glow on is really nice. Now your floor is it just a laminate or is uh, it? It's a, a sheet vinyl. No, it's just a like sheet a vinyl. Sheet vinyl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, from Menards, it's nothing special. Um, but we always try to work with sheet vinyl strictly for weight. Really nice. Oh, look at the toilet. Look, we saw the toilet paper holder thing. See it down there? Yeah, and then there's also a trash can in the drawer. I see that one. Oh, oh. <laughs> ding, ding. Nice. The wallpaper would have never thought to like. That's why you do what you do. Yeah, yeah think outside the box. you know, you try to keep that des the design, but also have to keep weight in mind, and it can be a really tricky balance at times. So I love how that shower came out. Yeah, it's nice. I this is really cool. This spot is it's it's so multifunctional. Thank you. Yeah, yeah really nice. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Um, and then with this being a toy hauler, uh, the purpose of it is, you know, obviously I do live in this rig, but the garage is for my business and the business being the Flipping Nomad where we do custom interiors mm -hmm. for clients, but then we also coach DIYers how to do their own yes. renovation. So that's what the garage is for. So you come back here and see it. Now your mom's doing one too, right? Isn't she? Yeah, we're, we're trying to work um, on her. Yeah, yes. we're a, a mother-daughter team. She's got her own rig. Um, so this is kind of the powerhouse and the brains of the operation back nice. here. So we have six of the Battleborn Game Changers. They're 270 amp hours each for a total of, I think it's 1640. Well, there's so many numbers associated with this install. Okay, hey, you're um, impressed that I've probably been like, ah. Yeah. And then um, this is all the cabinetry that houses table saw, miter saw, all okay. the nailers, sanders, all that good stuff. Um, and then the desk space is where I do the coaching for students, walking okay. them through how to do their own installs. And then this is another patio another back patio. here. Yeah, yeah, the door is okay. open and patio goes down. It's so, a huge window. Yeah, that was, again, custom. You know, I, I came up with the placement and the size of it, and then uh, Lipper Custom built one for I mean, us. Because you don't always, it's nice to, I mean, you're out to camp for, and to, to be in the environment so it's nice to get the yes the air and see like yeah. mean, it makes everything everybody thinks our toy models are so dark and and with the windows makes a huge difference so. yeah and i love being doctor too so i can't wait to get this rig out yeah around somewhere beautiful and still get work done but enjoy the scenery yeah, so, yeah. it's beautiful so yeah that's i am like did you say you had a question Oh, the arch. Oh, yeah. yes, the arch. Um, I wanted just to add some dimension and some interest to this space, but I had hardly any room to do it with. So we arched this entry and arched this one too. And there are doors here for daily life, but we took them off uh, okay. just for the show. Right. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. And then out of this slat wall here, um, just to give this area some more dimension too, but not take up any of this width, basically. Wow. So where does the actual toy hauler work? Because I know. Oh, yeah, okay. it's, okay. All right, so you normally need, it started here. Um, okay. That's why this is ramped so a little bit. Some of the toy hauler space. A little bit, okay. yeah. All right. Yeah. And the reason the batteries and all the solar components are back here was strictly for weight. Um, because Even as, distribution. Yeah, because as we were starting to calculate everything, I mean, just the batteries alone, they're just shy of 500 pounds. And okay. to have all of that up there in the tongue, you know, that's a lot of tongue weight. Yep. And so the safest place for weight and 
tow holes or you know any radio well, actually, is over axles and that yeah, we're just yeah. right over the axles here. That's storage. I mean you have Yeah. You've balanced it. You've got your washer dryer, you know, so uh -huh. normally that's back here, so you've kind of balanced yeah. it out. Yeah, and then so. this rig has so much solar, too, that I did not need a generator. So oh, we okay. took the generator out, um, and then we also took all the roof-mounted air conditioners off, and the roof is basically a solid solar panel. Um, we went with mini splits um, in the basement, so there's 4,840 watts of solar on the roof, and um, the mini <laughs> Look at his face! Oh, yeah. <laughs> We should turn the camera. Yeah, yeah. Should, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, and then we mounted one of the mini splits where the generator used to be. That's envy jealous. right there. Yeah. That's solar envy right there. Here, I've got it. Can we get a a shot of? Um, will the camera Ooh. pick that up so yeah. we can see the the roof? Oh yeah. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, so that's the roof for the Fusion. 20, hmm. 22 panels, they're 220 watts each, total 4,840 4, watts on the roof. Hmm. Nice. This is, it's, I think, somebody just said to me today, we w they wish somebody would make just a 10 foot garage, because I oh. don't need mm -hmm. a great bit. Bruce, when I was talking to him, he's like, I don't need all that garage space. I just need a little 10 foot garage for like my golf cart and something else. See, but everybody wants to keep going bigger, but this is the yeah. perfect example of still having that garage space, but not needing it to be so. Yeah, humongous. I think we came in at 11 feet to okay. right here. So I kind of did not calculate the batteries back there. Um, I should measure and know for sure. But yeah, I think we're at 11 feet. It's just so, I mean, it's so pleasing, but it's still yet so functional. I mean, you live in it, so Thank it has you. to be. Yeah, yeah, it yeah that's, be, that's so. what we were going for, is functionality. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, watching watching your on Instagram, it's been like, oh my God, what is this? What is, and then I see like, I'm like, whoa, like just the the magnitude of what you did is amazing. Oh, thank yeah, you. It's amazing. It's yeah, amazing. we I put, I put my blood, sweat, and tears to but it. it makes and I've got you, the scars it to makes show you for it. realize like, okay, I can. I think people have this misconception that it's an RV, but really, there's still so many things that are just like a house. Yeah. Things that you still have to do. Right. You know, yeah. It's um. Yeah. There's there's a certain balance and a certain a balance, balance yeah. with you know making sure whatever you do does not um, impede with it being yeah. an RV. Mm -hmm. You know, we that's always like the number one priority for us. If, yeah. If there's any design decision that's going to interrupt that, then then we won't do it. Well, and it, you know. It is going down the road. Most, yes. most houses are not going down the road. So you right. do have to think about that. So And try to figure out weight and, you know, yep. all those good things. So. Yeah, I like the fact that there's just so much, that's something we don't have, a space to, like, decorate. Oh, and you've got that by by changing how you did that. So yeah. it makes it really feel like, you know, yeah. even not putting a side table thing so uh -huh. you have space, you know, like just those. Yeah. Yeah, manufacturers have a way of just cramming every cramming square inch everything. Full. Yeah. And then you're... And yeah. white space and, you know, yeah. movement for energy flow. Yeah. yeah. It's a good thing. Shui. Exactly. Shui. Exactly. Well, it is beautiful. And thank, thank you. you for taking us on your tour. Oh, happy to do it. Make sure you guys give her a follow. And um, she's got some, she's got some awesome ideas. And she does host the the DIYers kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and you're, I'm sure you're probably giving some seminars here at the Tampa RV show. Uh, not at the show. No, no we're just kind of letting people through. Just enjoying yeah. But Taking we're, a break. Yeah, we're on uh, Instagram and TikTok. We're not okay. we're not cool enough to be on YouTube yet, um, but we're just at the Flipping Nomad, so people okay. can follow us there. All right. Thanks, yeah, thanks for coming through. Yeah. Oh, perfect.